Hey guys, this is Mary Dade. I am coming to you. I was trying to go live on the I Am His Beloved community, but it's not looking like it's working at the moment. So instead, I'm gonna come on here instead. Um, the Lord put on my heart, it is the, uh, what he told me to call this is standing is not waiting. And it has been grieving him how many of us have been standing, waiting for our marriages to be restored. But as we're standing, we're waiting and we're not proceeding. We're not moving forward with what he wants us to do in our life. And so he gave me this analogy with drawers. And so I'm going to use this analogy with drawers right now. <laughs> and we're just going to let the Holy Spirit lead. Um, Father God, I thank you for this time with um, your children. I thank you for what you want spoken to be spoken. Let your words be my words. Let your thoughts be my thoughts. God, have your way. We commit this time to you. We commit our hearts to you. We commit this video to you. We commit this message to you. And Lord, just have your way. We love you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, the one thing I wanted to share about this is, you know, when it comes to restoration of your marriage, God doesn't want to just restore your marriage. He wants to restore your identity in him. He wants to restore your children's identities. He wants to heal the trauma that took place from divorce or separation or when you guys were apart, when you weren't together. He wants to restore everything the locust ate, right? And it's not just the marriage. And so, so many of us get caught up in the pro in the promise of marriage that we don't realize restoration is a lot bigger than just marriage. And so um, I know a lot of you um, have noticed that you feel kind of like you're, what's going on with you and your spouse feels kind of stagnant, where it's like, you know, I'm not seeing any movement. I'm not seeing any like, I don't know, does that mean God's going to let go? God's going to give up on my, his promise to me. God's changed his mind. God doesn't change his mind. He's God, right? He's going to be a man of his word. God's word does not come back void. He is going to restore your marriage, but it's the fact of he needs us to trust him in the process of standing, right? Last season that you guys were in, you planted so many seeds. You planted seeds when he had you get up at two or three in the morning and you were warring for your spouse and you were praying for your spouse and you were declaring and decreeing for your spouse. The random times that God would be like, I need you to pray this. I need you to pray that. I need you to do this. I need you to do that. And it's like, he's kind of pulled you away from that. Several of you feel released. Several of you feel like, okay, well, Lord, it hasn't happened yet. Like where, where's restoration? And what we need to understand is he is still a God of order. So part of restoration, before me and Aaron had our marriage restored, the next part of restoration after my identity in Christ was restored was my identity with my children. That was the next step. It was parenting. It was um, being able to help heal the wounds in my children, help them to understand that, you know, daddy's not here right now, but it's just for a season because daddy's learning how to be a better daddy. And that's what God, he's on a journey with God right now, right? Like he had me go through, I mean, serious, um, different uh, steps in helping heal my children's heart and helping them to grow closer with the Lord. And so a lot of you are kind of feeling like, okay, well, you know, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I guess, you know, he's changed his mind. No, it's just the season has changed. So with the drawer analogy, okay, this drawer has been your marriage, okay? This has been, oh, sorry, hold on. Hey, Google, turn it off. <laughs> I apologize. Um, this drawer has been your marriage, okay? So in this drawer is all the prayers, okay? All the prayers that you have prayed with God, all of the declarations, all of the decrees, all the seeds you have planted, everything that he has had you do, the curriculum, the worksheets, the tests, the heart work, everything he's had you do in healing your heart and preparing for restoration. He keeps saying, get ready, it's here, get ready, it's here. All of that is in this drawer. What you're noticing is he's trying to close it now. And a lot of you are like, no, no, hold, hold on, wait a minute. Like, no, we need to keep this open. Like, I, 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 need to, I need to focus on my spouse. I need to focus on my marriage being restored. I need to focus on this still. But what we don't understand is by saying that and doing that, we are actually saying, God, I don't trust you because I haven't seen it yet. 
I need to hold on to this drawer and leave it open and focus on this drawer because I don't believe you're going to come through, right? And that's why God is lovingly trying to direct your steps. He's trying to change your course. He's wanting you guys to focus on the next part of restoration, okay? So I would encourage you, and I'll walk you through an activation tonight. We'll just do it together. Um, but it's time to let the drawer close, okay? Because when this drawer closes, you are saying, God, I know the seeds I planted. I know the prayers I prayed. I know what you promised me is going to happen. And now I can surrender trusting you in what you're going to do. So yes, Lord, I'm going to close this drawer. As soon as you let God close this drawer, this drawer, this drawer, and this drawer are going to open. But until you close this drawer, these drawers cannot open because you're still holding on to this, which is a part of not trusting God fully because you haven't seen what he's promised you come to fruition yet. As we close this drawer, now he's going to want you to focus on parenting. He's going to want you to focus on finances. He's going to want you to focus on getting um, maybe decluttering, getting your house in order. Restoration is an absolute. It is not just marriage. He wants to restore your generation. He wants to restore what happened to your parents. He wants to restore what happened on your bloodline. You are part of the bloodline remnant. So we have to understand this is part of the process of restoration. And so this one was restoration of your identity in Christ. Glory to God. You've closed that because you're solid. Your foundation is solid in God. Your foundation is solid in him. You know you, you are um, a daughter of the king. You know you are a son of the king. You know who you are. You know whose you are. You know you're accepted. You know you're loved. You know you're forgiven. He has been taking you through deep inner healing this past season in that. And now the next step is to close this drawer. Now is the next step is to say, God, I trust you. I trust what you're saying. I trust what you're doing. And I surrender what this is supposed to look like, right? So as you close this drawer, now the rest of the steps to restoration will take place. But if we don't close this drawer, he cannot open any other ones. So I want to encourage you guys because a lot of you, and I know it breaks God's heart because I was talking to him about it. And it's like, they have no idea what I have planned. They have no idea what's in store for them. But if they won't trust me here, I can't do what I want to do here for them. So I would encourage you guys tonight to take this back to the Lord and pray about this, right? A lot of you who have joined Wondrous Woman, a lot of you are in the process and like how he kind of explained to me, a lot of you want to join Wondrous Woman, but a lot of you are like, okay, but if I join Wondrous Woman, that means I'm giving up on my marriage. That means I'm letting go of walking through restoration of my marriage. That means I'm letting go. No, it means you're trusting God. You're trusting the seeds you planted. You're trusting what he's promised. And now the activation of acting on that faith is you closing that drawer. And then as soon as you close that drawer, you are going to see the other drawers he has for you open up. And it's going to be exciting. It's going to be amazing. Restoration is a beautiful process. It is messy. But so many of you are focusing on one part. It's like tunnel vision. You're focusing only on the marriage and you're not realizing God wants to do so much more than that. He's reconciled me and Aaron's families. He's reconciled our generations. We, we have sickness broken off, disease broken off, divorce broken off. There is blood, like we are part of the bloodline remnant. You all are. So a part of that is trusting God on the journey. He wants to surprise you. He wants to embrace you. He is preparing so many amazing things for you this next season. Doors are, he wants to open doors. He wants the floodgates to open for you, but he needs our obedience. He needs our trust. He needs our obedience because obedience is the key. If we're not obedient, the act of leaving this door open is saying, God, I'm not ready to let this go. So he'll let you go around the mountain again. He'll let you. He'll let you go around the mountain again. But you're going to feel stagnant. Things are going to feel kind of stuck. You're going to feel like you're missing something. And it is because I did that. 
right? I did that and I wouldn't let it go. And then when I finally did, his hand of grace, his hand of favor, his hand of mercy is on something new. And so as you're noticing this transition, God is faithful. God is not going to disappoint you. He's not going to let you down. But the enemy knows what God has planned. So the enemy is going to try to use fear and lack of faith to get you to hold on to this drawer. Because the enemy knows as soon as you let this drawer go and you let and God opens these doors for you, these drawers for you, you're closer to getting everything back that Satan stole. And so we need to really understand, guys, if there is fear that is causing you to not take this next step, whether it be joining Wondrous Woman or joining another program, whether it's a ministry door that's opening, whatever doors God is trying to open and you're like, I can't because I'm obligated to this. I can't because I'm committed to this. I can't because I'm doing this. You got to let go. You got to trust God because this is what's going to keep you stuck from all of this and all of this is going to get you to restoration. All of this is going to get full, total restoration. Everything that was stolen, dreams that were stolen, visions that were stolen, finances that were stolen, time that was stolen, anything that was stolen in the process of separation is going to be given back to you. And then even more on top of that, because everything that was taken from your bloodline, your generation, they didn't get to inherit what God had, you get to inherit that. And so that's why a lot of you are feeling like, oh my gosh, double portion, things are coming, things are coming. They are. But in order for things to come, we have to trust God and we have to close this drawer so he can open these ones. Amen. So I wanted to kind of take you guys through a really quick activation prayer. Um, we're just going to let the Holy Spirit lead on this. All right. So Father God, God, we repent. We repent for holding on to this drawer. We repent for holding on to our marriages in a way that was almost coveting, Lord. We repent for not trusting you fully and restoring what you promised you were going to restore. We repent for not trusting you in where you're taking us this next season. So God, we just uproot all demonic seeds that have been planted through fear, through doubt, through worry through double-mindedness, through confusion, through anything that we willingly or unwillingly, knowingly or unknowingly planted because we didn't know that what, you, what you had in store, God. And we had that lack of faith, God. We repent for our unbelief. We repent for that lack of faith. And we just surrender this drawer to you. We surrender our marriage to you. We surrender our spouse to you. We surrender the season to you. We surrender what it's supposed to look like. We surrender all of it to you, Father God, because we truly do trust you. God, we take our hands off of the situation. We know that we know that we know the seeds that we have planted are going to bring a harvest and that the harvest is not ripe as soon as you plant the seed. So we thank you, God, that the seeds that have been planted are going to be watered. You are going to water them by speaking to their spouses. You are going to water them by bringing different people into their spouse's life to bring their prodigals home. You are going to water them in ways that only you get the glory and the credit for. And so we thank you, God, that as we allow this drawer to be closed, we are putting our faith completely in you. We are putting our marriages completely in you. We are putting the restoration process of marriage completely in your hands. We are letting it go. We are laying it down. We are surrendering it to you, God. Let your will be done. We repent for the expectation of what it was supposed to look like. We repent for lack of faith in what you're doing. And we just thank you, God, for your forgiveness. We receive your forgiveness. We receive your mercy. We receive your grace. And as we close this drawer, we thank you, Father God, for the doors that you are opening. We thank you for the opportunities that are coming. We thank you for the new assignments that you are creating and you are showing us that you are leading us on and you are leading us down. We love you. We praise you. We plead the blood of Jesus over this prayer. We thank you, God. For the freedom, I just feel in these words, Lord, that there's going to be freedom with your children, where they're going to feel free of the guilt or the shame or the condemnation that was trying to get them to keep this drawer open. I thank you, God, that they are getting freedom right now by closing this drawer. They are getting freedom right now 
in realizing that this is surrender. This is trusting you with everything. We love you. We praise you in Jesus name. Amen. Feels good, right? It's exciting. This is the next step of restoration. So I'm encouraged. God is so good. I love what he's doing in these seasons. Um, if you need help with any of the parenting, listen, ladies, join Wondrous Woman. We have the I Am His Beloved community now. So you are more than welcome to go in there. We're going to keep growing that and letting that glow up as God goes in and does what he's doing. Um, and the Wondrous Woman, we are going to be available for that till the 28th of this month. We are launching March 1st in that. But let's say God is showing you, you know, in a couple months I want you to join, but not right now. That's okay. You can join in a couple months. So just follow God on it. If he's prompting you to sign up, we'd love to have you. We have quite a few ladies that are standing beside us that are going to be empowered and we're going to be walking through these doors together. But just to encourage all of you out there, God has not given up on you. God has not abandoned you. God has not broken his promise to you. He is still in the process of fulfilling that promise. But in fulfilling that promise, it's time to let him open the other drawers. Amen. I hope this blesses you guys. I hope that prayer helped you guys. Um, take time with the Lord. Take everything back that I shared. Let him confirm it with you. Take time. Ask him, okay, Lord, if this is what you have for me, show me the next door you want opened. Show me what you want me to work on next. Is it my parenting? Is it my finances? Is it my, um, my parents? Is it my career? What is it, Lord, that you want me to work on next? As I trust, as I let this drawer, right? As I let this go, as I surrender this to you, I am ready for the next step in my life. Amen. So I'm excited for you guys. I'm cheering you on. Aaron and I are here. We're praying for you. We're warring for you. We're declaring and decreeing for you. God is good. God is faithful. Amen. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening and we'll talk soon. Bye.